Hey, what is up, everybody? It's me, Thunder God Comics, and I want to welcome you and thank you for watching another one of my little videos. Today, I have a mystery box for you, sort of. Um, it's actually books from JB on Discovery Bay. Um, brief story why. Uh, I say mystery boxes because um, during different times I would try to catch JB do his auctions on his channel. Uh, shout out Discovery Bay. And I'd put some things in there. Well, some time passed. And I uh, completely forgot. You know, everything going on. I completely forgot that I had JB building his box for me. Uh, so he contacts me not too long ago, says, hey, you know, these books are here. I said, oh, shit, I completely forgot. I'm a dumbass. Um, so long story short, he got me a total. I heard up and paid them. I told him, get them out to me. Um, here they are. And like I said, kind of like a mystery box because I don't even remember what the fuck I bought. So... Um, I'm going to open it up, but we'll kind of be surprised together. Uh, like I said, I honestly don't remember. Um, I don't know. That I do remember the reason I started building the box in the first place, because I bought one book, and that one book put me in his uh, contest for free shipping, and I won Free shipping. So I said, well, shit, now I got free shipping. Let's build a box. Well, here it is. So like I said, I completely forgot. So, but it was all cool. He was cool about it. Was, you know, it's it's been 2020. You know, you just forget shit. Uh, of course, all nice and packed in here. Of course, it would be. So, yeah, I had no idea what is in here, what I bought. I just remember I would tune in to some different auctions and I'd be like, oh, you know, get that and put it in the box because I had free shipping and, you know, I figured I didn't want to just stop at one book. Might as well try to fill up a mailer. So... I can reuse this son of a bitch. Alright. So we're in here. Just kind of... Like, right. I haven't seen any of them. Which I honestly don't even know. So it's just like a mystery box. We'll see it together, people. What am I? Oh, look. You left the little tags on it. So it was me. Um, I bought... Green Lantern Corps... 216. I honestly don't even know why. This must have been a good deal on it. Kind of cool Green Lantern cover. Hey, I'm going to check with my boy Fu. Shout out to uh, Comic Fu. I'm sure he has it, but who knows. What was next? Hey! Green Lantern 216. I mean, no, 217. Last one was 216. I bought a couple of Green Lantern books. I don't remember why. Then what did I get? Hey! I bought a JLA. Um. Nope, don't remember why. I like the Justice League, but that's cool. What's next? Okay, yeah, I don't know. We don't know why I got this one. The War of the Round is cutting open up. I want to say it's a 
wrap the wrong cover. Kind of wore the rounds number one. So so I did not have this for mine, so yeah. That one definitely know why I got. There. That's why. Okay. Next. Whoa, look at all kinds of stuff. Ooh. Got some Peter Parker Spectre Spider Man 221. Probably this is another awesome cover by. I love Black Suit Spider-Man. So yeah, 75 cent Spider-Man issue. Can't go wrong. I'm sure I got amazing deals on all these. Next. Ooh. Sweet. Awesome. A web of Spider-Man 1. I do not have this. Now I do, now that I see it, I remember. I think this was one of his maybe $10 ones or something like that. But I said, oh man, I have to have that. Newsstand edition. High grade Shell JB kept these up in real nice shape. A web of Spider Man 1. Hell yeah. Next up. Oh, hey. I mean, this one, there's, there's uh, four reasons right there. I remember getting this one. Plus, it was limited, as you can see. It was, uh, it was a limited number. It was a, a Comic-Con exclusive. So... There are only 500 copies of this. Doesn't tell me which number I got, but it's it's a Bill McKay cover, and I like his work on these two characters. But yeah, there's four big reasons I got that. I remember I like that. Next up, oh hey. Another one. You can tell. Well, this probably wasn't a limited because there's no tag on the back, but you can tell with the paperwork or the color art. It's another Bill McKay, like I said. I like Bill McKay's artwork on here. And, you know, the real big. Oh, oh, look. Oh, my God. That's what we got right there. Anywho, nice one. I kind of remember grabbing those. Let's see what is up next. Ooh, some Hawkman. Tags off. Oh, shit. 12 Center Hawkman. Hawkman issue 14. Got a little DC checkerboard on there. Everybody likes a little DC checkerboards. 12 cents. Hawkman's going to take off. We all know he's going to be, he should be a Black Adam. That's a nice pickup. Not quite sure what I paid for it, but it doesn't matter. That was one hell of a pickup. Last but not least, people. Okay. This one right here. Batman Superman number eight. Complete cover by, do not have a bunch of these, but this was, it was just for a personal uh, pickup that I wanted. Now that I see it, it is a, um, this is a Michael Turner cover. The great artist that was in it was pretty small on there. But this is a Michael Turner cover. Amazing artist that was taken from us too soon. Um, I did not have any of his artwork 
uh, as far as his uh, covers in my PC. And when I seen him bring this one up, I just love it. Two of my favorite characters in the history of comics right there. I mean, come on. It's Michael Turner, man. Look what he had here. Uh, it's talking about New Girl in Town, I do believe. And like I said, don't quote me on it. But I do believe that's something to do with the Supergirl storyline. A complete cover by because I wanted this Michael Turner cover. So, yeah, that's my uh, Discovery Bay mystery box, sort of, kind of, auction wins. Because I literally did not know have almost any of these. I mean, after I seen them, I remember watching me. Oh, yeah, that's why I got that one. Um, I knew Hawkman was going to start to heat up. I mean, this is just really nice. It's already in some Mylar. It's got a slight amount of wear for being a 60-something comic. So, yeah. I like collecting these type of artworks from Bill McKay. So, those are nice. One last time for you all. Okay, that's enough. Probably my favorite pickup in the whole thing. I didn't remember this one until I looked at it. And this one probably tickled my fancy the most, to be honest with you. I've never owned this. It's my first copy of this. And I know it's just one of the best black suit covers. And as I said earlier, I've always liked black suit Spider-Man. So, those are some of the highlights, but man, I could go through all of them because they're, they're all just great, you know, even anything that's over Spider-Man. So, yeah, that is my uh, shout out to JB over at Discovery Bay. Um, I'm going to leave a link to that channel uh, in the description. Um, if you're not already subscribed, although you probably are, if you're watching my little video, you're probably already subbed up to JB. But if not, get out there and do it. Uh, JB, just one of the best, most pure, nicest dudes in this whole community, uh, puts together amazing pop-up auctions. He's got like his little TV guide shows and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, you know. Catch him whenever he does this stuff. So yeah, shout out to JB over at Discovery Bay. Um, maybe some of this will go up for sale, but I don't know. I think a lot of this might be PC stuff for me. So anyways, uh, keep it a little bit short for you. Thank you for watching. If you have not already subbed up to the channel, and you're just kind of watching right now please let this be the day that i have earned your sub and get down there and do it so we try to continue to build this channel on the road to 300. last check we are closing in on it so you know give a little channel the love sub it up uh leave any comments please share um Give it a, I think I said give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. But you know what? In the comments, let me know what you think I could do different. So, that being said, everybody out there, be safe, take care, and as always, stay worthy.